Ahoy there, Legion! If you're just now coming into 18.5 or finding some free time to play the update and wondering how to get your hands on Sans Vinaros, you're in luck! Not only can he unlock all his parts in one day, but if you're patient, you can do it without spending a single platinum. Let's show you how it's done. First up, if Barrow's at a relay, you're gonna have to pay him a visit. The quest starter will set you back 200 ducats and 50,000 credits. Both are relatively easy to farm if you frequent the void, but we'll put a ducat guide up for you in the description if you could use some pointers. If Barrow's not active, you're gonna either have to wait for him to resurface or trade with another Tenno who has one to spare. Once you have a copy, head back to your Lisette and access the foundry to craft it. You can find it under the keys section or just search for it to save you some scrolling. It will cost you one nitane and a decent amount of oxium, but you'll likely have more than enough without even trying. This is the only real slow part of the quest is it's not gonna take you six hours for this blueprint to finish. And don't rush it, you'll spoil your appetite. Now what also be an excellent time to farm up any of these materials you might not have as you gotta kill six hours one way or the other. For the sake of brevity, let's assume you got the blueprint all ready to go. Done? Excellent. Claim it, activate it in your codex, listen to Borrow's message, and take a look at Optic on Phobos. Get it? Take a look? Optic? Anyway, feast your eyes of Horus on this. Some wicked sandy pillars and stuff. This part's relatively simple. Go in, listen to some lore, pick up the sacred vessel. To continue, the vessel demands tribute. What was mine requiring? What's that? You'll want me to kill some corpus? Don't mind if I do. Borrow! You've been holding out on me! Now it's not just any corpus, and in fact you might not even see the same image as currently there are three different variations you could have. But more on that in a minute. In my case, I needed to kill like 50 or so Detron crewmen. You know when you got it right as Borrow will chime in and the screen gets all bright. If you are not, make sure the vessel is equipped on your gear wheel via the arsenal. Now I opted to do a solo run here, but public matches are fine. As long as you're within range and as long as the right target target dies, you get credit. Borrow will let you know when you have enough, and you can take a peek at the jar in your Lisette to see how charged up it is. When it's full, head on back to Optic and turn it in. You'll get some more lore, another jar, and a surprise kitten cuddle fest. Did I say cuddle fest? I meant death trap! They still hit hard, but when these guys first were released, their damage was through the roof. Now, you might be thinking, Psycho, you gargantuan stealth rhino incarnate, surely you must jest. Fortunately, Iron Skin records how much damage damage was absorbed on casting. How much do you think these guys hit me for? 100? 200? How about 13,000? And that was just one. These guys usually attack in a pack. The game doesn't even tell you to kill them. They just show up, start chewing on you, and kicking sand in your face like they're trying to cover up their latest addition to a litter box. Anyway, clear them out and head back to the Lisette. With those poor uh, captain, I can't say that. Why not that? Because, no. Uh, I'll use a different word then. Get creative like. Uh, okay. Mm. With those kitties licked and the second jar in hand, you get another picture of what you have to hunt down. In this case, I got a railgun moa. Pretty much the same drill here, too. Listen to the lore, get another jar, and add another brawl. Today's contestant? A rock golem. He's pretty tough, and I wasn't modded out to tackle a rock bean, but luckily, after a few well-placed shots, he finally- Oh, what the- Back on the Lisette, you'll have a third and final vessel. This one's really hard to make out, but it's actually an infested juggernaut. Luckily, we'll only have to kill five of this tier. Now, you might not have any of the enemies that I did, and that's okay. Turns out there are three variations. The one I got, Detron Crewman, Railgun Moa, Juggernaut, or Grenier Seeker, Hecka Master, Denial Bursa, and finally, Volatile Runner, Broodmother, Manic. Some of these enemies are interchangeable, like any type of Grenier Seeker will count, and if you get Manics, you can easily get them from the Rieger boss fight on Uranus. Oh, that you don't mind saying, do ye? It's the name of a planet, Captain. It is? Even though the ones during the Rigor boss fight are Drekker Manics, the game counts them either way, so cash in on that good fortune, Tenno. Kill whatever enemies you need, and now it's time to turn it all in. Place the jar, listen to the big reveal, and now the last stand. Inaros itself? Or Tomb Protector, as it were. No matter. Kill it, and it'll camp out in its sarcophagus. Likely checking its phone messages, I'm sure. Then you'll have to kill one of them huge stone statues from the main chamber. Kill that, and Inaros wakes up again, only now it can summon your evil twin to fight you as well. Kill them, and yet another statue wakes up, and so on and so on. If you have trouble clearing the star chart, this quest will be extremely difficult for you, so I'd recommend bringing a full group to make it painless. 
Where you can just stand at the entrance like this and flex and let the statues kill themselves as they know that they'll never look as sculpted as Rhino is. Yes, that's me, that's all me. Pay no attention to the man a few words behind the Rhino curtain. Wow. And there you have it. Complete the mission and you'll not only have all the necessary parts to make an Anaros of your very own, but even a bonus sacred vessel a set decoration for your efforts. And if you followed along, you'll have done it for free. Might have lost some sleep and hair over it, but free nonetheless. If this guide helped you out or put a smile on your face, we'd be honored if you'd like, favorite, and share this video with your fellow Tenno. We always appreciate it when you does. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and catch you next time, Legion. Take care.